Hi, my name is Tan and I'm from Clang. So today over here, I have my Runcam Phoenix HD with the air unit light. This is basically my basher build and uh, as you can see, the lens has been cracked. So I had the idea to actually upgrade the camera to the Nebula Pro. I want to see what happens when I basically take this plug and plug it into this camera instead. And uh, hopefully the conversion, because this is a 60 FPS camera, this is a 120 FPS camera. The latency difference is actually uh, noticeable personally. So uh, let's see, hopefully if I switch this one over to the Nebula Pro, it opens up not only a higher frame rate for my flights, but also opens up the customizable camera OSD. I'm just going to show you guys the footage that I recorded of me in my goggles trying to access and if I were to go to settings and uh, the camera is basically grayed out. So before I start this experiment, just for transparency, let me turn on my DJI goggles. Show you guys that this is a working camera. You can see my Benchy over there. Yep, okay. So with that out of the way, Let's get in here. There it is. So let's start the extraction of the Runcam Phoenix by taking out four screws. Just so I don't get lost, I'm just gonna mark both cameras with some tape for this one being the top, as well as for this camera, this one being the top. Because without the orientation of the Cadex FPV logo or the Run Cam logo, I might not be able to differentiate which side is top and which side is bottom. So. Before I remove this last screw, I just marked it out. Alright then, I'll move this into this. So I'm just going to use a bunch of pliers and just pop it off. Like so. There's a little tiny hole inside here that you can reach. And uh, basically pushing that will get the coaxial cable out. So I'm just going to align the silver taped part onto here. I'm gonna slowly try to line up the pins so that it sits in nicely. And uh, as easy as it is to come out, you're just gonna pop it in like so. And um, that should do it. Put the screws back in. Right. So I think it's about time I gave this thing a test. There it is. Then you can see, I don't know if you could see this immediately, but it's a 4x3. And um, I'm assuming this time that when I go into the settings, There you have it. The camera is not grayed out anymore. I can click in the camera and set the ratio to 16 by 9, as you can see there. You can increase saturation and whatnot. And basically the conversion is complete. So the takeaway from this video is no matter where you buy the um, air unit light from, whether it's from Runcam, you can switch it from a 60 FPS to a 120 FPS that is entirely dependent on the camera itself that unlocks the ability for you to do so or not. Anyway, that's it for this video. My name is Tan, I'm from Clang, and have a nice day.